Welcome to Subramani. Uh, one uh, website or blog which you should visit uh, regularly is Collaborative Fund uh, website where uh, Morgan uh, Housel writes where, uh, writes uh, regularly and uh, he is a prolific writer and he is a great writer. There is absolutely no doubt, much younger than me. Uh, I have met him uh, at in Bombay once and he is one of the best writers in uh, personal finance that I have seen. Of course, there is Jason Zweig, but Jason Zweig uh, also writes about uh, uh, the psychology of money. But uh, there is a book which is written by Morgan Housel which is called Psychology of Money. Why am I talking about him today? Because he has written a recent post on writing. Uh, so, a good writer writing about writing it was too uh, tempting an offer to let go of uh, making a video with. So, he is charged by saying you have 5 seconds to get the uh, attention of the uh, reader. Completely true. Once upon a time, I used to be asked for 1600 word articles. Now, I am asked for 400, 500 word articles. And if it becomes 575, they come back and say, can you reduce the number of words? People don't want a 3000 word article on a trip to Penge. People just don't want, right? People want very short articles because the span of attention has reduced. So, the truth is 5 seconds, maybe it will be 7 seconds or uh, 4 seconds, but that is arguable. But 5 seconds, I think, would be a fair estimate because uh, Morgan Housel would have done some research or he's just come out with a number and then I might be willing to accept that number as correct. He also says that good ideas are uh, easy to write and bad ideas are difficult to write. I really don't know because I think the number of ideas that you can write with in personal finance is pretty limited. Here I would go to Dilbert and say uh, 140 words. 140 words is what you can write on personal finance. Afterward, it is just the amplification of the same idea. Start early, do compounding, don't interrupt the compounding, don't withdraw money from equity under stress. Uh, and sit tight, sit tight during uh, bad times. These are simple ideas, and you have to keep on writing about it. You can, you have to keep on doing stories about this. You have to write about how you can learn and things like that. But yes, uh, the number of ideas, good ideas, are pretty limited. But you have to keep writing about it in a slightly different way, like. Uh, and Jason Zwick says it's the same thing which I keep saying over a long period of time without people being able to find out uh, what I've said. So, uh, then uh, Morgan also, also says that uh, impatience has increased with social media, uh, which I completely, completely, totally agree. Because when I used to read a book long, long ago and a physical copy of the book, uh, there was no ads in it. There were no interruptions. In fact, uh, I would be sitting and reading and my mom would be screaming at me for not opening the door. I wouldn't have even heard the doorbell. I would be busy reading a book, right? It could be an Alfred Hitchcock, or an Agatha Christie, uh, or uh, Jim Corbett. It didn't really matter, but we would get into the book and we could just immerse ourselves in the book. Today, I can't, especially if I'm reading on the phone or if I'm reading on my laptop. There would be some notification, something happens, some light flickering and catching your attention uh, there. So, yes, so switching off everything to read is very important. And because people don't read that way, it makes life very difficult for writers to write because it's not as though I'm uh, this video is not the most uh, sexy thing to watch right there is a dance program some new song some item song some cricket match being shown something or some crime uh, uh, some program going on so something like that or some music show catching your attention amidst all this is not going to be easy especially for uh, not so great uh, writers like us morgan housel can still catch attention but it is a great challenge for people like me and uh, one thing where he says is uh, whoever says the most stuff in the fewest word wins i think here is the uh, here is the skill of being uh, able to write what the uh, what the reader should read uh, rather than what what the uh, reader likes to read. Now, this is very difficult because uh, there is a sense of arrogance to think that I know what you should be reading. You are reading wrong stuff. Here is the right stuff. Now, taking this view is easy, but the reader may not agree. So, that is kind of tough. So, unless you establish yourself over a very long period of time, but even after that, even after people have been established, after you know that this is a great magazine to read or a great book to read, getting people to sit and read that 
that is really getting very difficult. Uh, one thing which I completely agree with uh, Jason Zweig, he says, you can never create something worth reading unless you are committed to total destruction of, uh, destruction of everything that isn't. Uh, when I read a Morgan Housel article, maybe it is uh, 350, 400 words, he doesn't write, of course, his book is big, but, uh, but his articles are short. I'm sure uh, these 300 words have come out of writing 3,000 words and eliminating 2,700 words. That's amazingly well uh, said, uh, Jason, uh, hats off. I like that. And he also says most uh, good writing is a byproduct of good reading. Absolutely no doubt about that. The writing styles of write from uh, Valmiki to Abhyasa to giving examples, the way Valmiki gives examples. It's amazing how many examples he gives. Uh, he gives. And your ability to draw from that and uh, apply it to personal finance. Uh, sorry for a plug-in, but I'm planning to do a book on uh, investment fables. Uh, sorry, Damodaran, I'm uh, stealing your title where I'm going to do story and the learning story and the learning kind of a book maybe aimed at the younger investors or the younger potential investors and older too but uh, it can even reach the 18 year old and the 19 year old to understand uh, the links of these stories to personal finance. He also says good ideas can't be scheduled, totally agree. So if you get good ideas, I know writers, uh, authors, uh, I think Amit Trivedi does that. Uh, he takes a book along and whenever he gets an idea, he jots it down. That's a very good idea. Or today you can always record it on your phone and play it back to you when you're going on a walk because ideas don't, ideas can come anytime. Ideas can come while you're taking a bath, ideas can come while you're going for a walk or you're on the treadmill. Anything that you're doing, ideas can come. So writing it down or recording it somewhere in your phone or your head or something is very useful. A powerful trick is writing something which people intuitively know but haven't been yet been put into words. Now, uh, uh, get, teaching them something new is very useful. This is true but in personal finance it's so difficult to find it because it's the same thing. You, you're saying it very differently. You're saying uh, invest for tomorrow, don't uh, spend today. So same things, right? So prioritize. Uh, I find it very difficult and very challenging to find new ideas because it's the same. Because when I see the idea and I do a video about it, I know that I've done something similar in the past. So this is difficult. Uh, and one thing very important like even uh, fund managers and uh, especially with fund managers uh, I don't think mutual funds pay enough attention to their communication skills and that I think is a disaster because uh, knowing the technical skill of what you are doing that's easy but uh, being able to convey it is very difficult like suppose if I were running a mutual fund and I have enough people in uh, uh, fund management and I need a new CEO I would rather go and get a marketing and sales person who is bothered about the market and uh, you know things like that so those are the new ideas Maybe you start writing about those ideas, but uh, 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 communication is a soft skill, but it has to be learned. So, uh, writing and uh, creating videos, etc., has to be a very good skill today. And uh, companies have to spend enough time on spending on their uh, fund managers, their marketing people, etc., to be able to create good presentations, uh, write good notes, create videos. All this is going to become a part of their presentation not just PPT PPT is dead buried perhaps uh, so creating videos maybe your head of sales uh, creates a weekly video on what's happening or your uh, CIO creates a weekly video on what's happening and that goes viral and right you, you make sure that everybody gets it right yeah also one very important thing is uh, I'm sure this is very boring if it is in the form of a lecture it's very nice if it's in the form of a story but everything can't be made into a story and that's a problem uh, writing is a skill writing is an art whatever it is but even if it's an art it is uh, I think it can be learned I do not know how good I have been at uh, learning but uh, Morgan Housel hats off to you you've done a great job writing this article of course you've done a great job with your book and with your 